Hi, I'm Donna Hunt. I live in Denison, Texas. I'm a freelance writer and I've written several stories about the Yellow Jacket boat. Uh, I, well, I go back to when they were building the boats and I was married to a man that worked out there with Gene Ramey. We'll see Gene Ramey in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. My name's Gene Ramey. I'm as near as I can tell, probably the last living supervisor from the uh, old Yellow Jacket Boat Company during the 1950s. We built some great boats and uh, a lot of the old uh, points are here tonight and uh, it, it was a fun job. My name is David Gill. I'm the son of Lester Gill, or L.O. Gill, who owned Nortex Manufacturing Company. Nortex was one of the subcontractors that came in to provide uh, additional parts volume for some of the, some of the boats uh, when, they, when the Yellow Jacket couldn't produce its own parts fast enough to satisfy its demand. Uh, my dad uh, did a lot of the, of the work and he, he participated in the design work. Uh, uh, one, some of the critical items were some of the uh, the, la the laminated spring seats, uh, the transom, uh, some of the trim work, including the fins. Uh, he was responsible for a lot of that, and uh, so I'm, I'm here just to make my contribution to, to let him know, you know, that he existed. And, you know, that's part of the roots of Yellow Jacket boats. Bill Bowder, <laughs> architect from Austin, and almost 60 years ago, I helped the design of Yellow Jacket boats. The hardware is mine. I did those. <laughs> well, long years ago. More details than that. My name is Karen Gates Johnson. Yeah, My grandfather worked for the Yellow Jacket Boat Company, and the company went under. I started a yeah, company called the Speaker Boats, and I found that they wanted to learn about the boats because I never got to know my grandfather, and I've learned a lot. Thank you. Franklin Pillsbury, and uh, a little background on my uh, relationship with Yellow Jacket Boats. My dad started out in the mid 50s selling Yellow Jacket boats, both at wholesale and retail. Had the opportunity to work with uh, Roy Rogers and uh, also with Mac McDervy and uh, learned how to really go out and sell and promote stuff, uh, which Mac was a ASAP, as well as racing boats and uh, figuring out ways to get new people into boating. And uh, fortunately, that's where we are still today. How do we get new people into boating? And Yellow Jacket is the beginning. Hi, I'm Chuck Poole. Said I have a yellow jacket boat. I have the yellow jacket boat in Edison, Texas. But this boat right here is a 56 yellow jacket Catalina. It's an interesting story. I got the boat by my son who purchased the boat over the internet from me from a person in Dallas, Texas. Didn't have no idea we we're gonna have a boat. But by golly one day it pulled up at my house and there it was. So he knew I'd grown up cross street from Mac Derby who owned the Yellow Jacket Boat Company and he knew that uh, you need help with anything? I always wanted one. Okay. So we right, brought so that thing home and we put it in the, the garage, said to about a year and a half and I contacted a friend named Frank Pillsbury and Frank told me that what I need to do is get involved with the Wooden Boat Association in Dallas and they would help me figure out how to get that thing fixed. So through that, I met a guy named Dave Canale, and he's a great guy, and Dave's right here. Uh, and then I met Lou White and Robert at Bob Adair. And Dave worked the deal for me, and through all of us together, we uh, got the boat refinished and restored. And Canale headed this sucker up, and you know what? That We ended up in the kills and wheels down in... Uh, Seabrook, Texas. <laughs> I had some help on that one. And we won uh, best of class. And so thanks to those three guys for the work and efforts that they put in, we won. Without them, it'd still be in my garage. 